I've had six concussions over the last few years, the last one being in 2021. Um, it happened at footy training and I was tackling a player when he lost balance and caught me around the head with his elbow. I then left the ground and my symptoms got worse and I ended up vomiting and going to hospital. In the short term I had nausea, headaches, um, fatigue, um, light sensitiveness, uh, also some drowsiness and dizziness as well. So the long-term effects have been difficulty with concentration, uh, which leads to fatigue. After my recovery, I was cleared to play, and after looking at the risks, I decided for my long-term health it wasn't worth it returning to football, and I decided to pick up umpiring instead. One in five children will experience a concussion before the age of 10, mainly due to falls or playing sport. Typical concussion symptoms are often difficult to detect, as a result, about 30% of children will have long-term effects from their concussion. At the Murdoch Children's Research Institute, we're advancing child and adolescent concussion treatment by examining the most effective ways to speed up and support recovery. Our Hair Check app, designed in collaboration with the Royal Children's Hospital and the Australian Football League, has been a successful concussion management tool. It's helped parents and coaches to recognise symptoms early and better manage early recovery. We've also contributed to the new diagnostic tools and updated world's best practice on how to prevent and treat concussion. These changes will improve exercise and rehabilitation methods and upgrade return to school and return to sport protocols. So I think this is really important for parents, kids at grassroots level, um, from when they're young and they're starting at six to when they're 18. Um, it's really reassuring to have this new information out there. At the Murdoch Children's, our goal is to keep being an influential player in how concussion is viewed across the sporting codes, recreational sport, and within medical clinics, schools, and emergency departments.